Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Shell Toadidas from Stairjoys, back again with another ROM review. Today, we're going to be reviewing uh, Chaos' 4.2 uh, Hybrid ROM, Volume 6. Uh, for, your, for those of you that are not familiar, Chaos has a background with Smartphone Junkie, SPJ, uh, along with Dash, Big Jew, and Puerto Rico Black 2003. This is a long time ago. For, your, for those that are just now getting into modifying phones, this goes back to the Windows Mobile era. So sit back, relax, grab your Evo 3D. Um, I'm also going to be uh, disclosing a few um, applications for app launchers and as, along with a uh, live wallpaper that, I'm, uh, that I have running on the device that you probably see right now. Uh, once again, this is Shell to Adidas with Stairdroids. Y'all enjoy the video. Man, let me tell you something. In my household, we got a, a Photon and an Evo 3D. I got my Evo 3D on release date, just like I got the Evo 4G. And I just so happened to get my girl the Evo 4G as well. Because that's when the cameras had first came out, you know. and They've been in Europe all the time, and I never had a T-Mobile phone, no SIM card, no at and So, anyways, long story short... We both had the 4G. When the 3D dropped, I got the 3D. She waited, and she just so happened to get the Photon. Now the dilemma is, which phone is better, man? You know, I, the Photon does its thing. You know, but HTC, I've been HTC for a long time. And uh, I, I think this is the best I've ever seen them aesthetically. You know, and man, they need to put a little more memory onto these phones you know uh come on motorola dropped 16 gigs on the photon anyways i'm finna uh show y'all this chaos around that i got over there from uh xda developers xda developers uh it's a chaos hybrid 4.20 uh 3d rom and um he took a lot of stuff out he left a lot of stuff in um and he added a few things. It's running smooth. It's running real smooth. First time I uh, actually tried to get it on the phone, I got it. It stuck. You know, sometimes you flash around and have a have a few problems trying to get it on there. Um, but yeah, it comes with two updates, and you flash those after you flash the um, the ROM, of course. And it's 108 in here, man. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you. It's running 2.3.3. Uh, I don't know if there's a 2.3.4 out. I need to put a kernel on this one. It's not. It doesn't allow me to show you the kernel. Uh, I can go. I can show you all the other software information. But yeah, uh, volume six. Yeah, 4.2.0. Uh, go back. The battery life. It's the first day I flashed it, so I, I can't even tell you how the battery is. And plus, I've been charging it on, like, a car charger all day. So it's not a good charge, in my opinion. But, yeah, it's been awake. Uh, I turned it off this morning. Well, it died on me this morning. But uh, I haven't calibrated the battery. But anyways, yeah, I'll let you know what the battery like in the comments below. <clears throat> or I'll just add it. I'm running a new Wi-Fi tether. A lot of people have the one with the green emblem, and it's a problem with the green emblem. Uh, Wi-Fi tether, wireless tether. Uh, it's something about the kernel, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, in the quick settings, you got your volume. I'm running Doc for Joy down here. Which is pretty cool. I'm going to circle launcher there. Bookmarks on this side. I got this courtesy Floss put me on that. I watched the video by Flossy Carter. I got that multi icons. That tune in radio is dope. Uh, the calendar widget, of course. 
Got to have a weather widget. See, I took the calendar, uh, the original clock out, and I left this clocker. Yeah, clock is a nice application, man. And you can make your time look any way you want to. You can turn your time options. You can have the, the colors. You know, this is the primary color, which is that green. It's showing up yellow on the camera, but it's like a green. You know, uh, let me see. The middle font color is blue because it has the blue accents. Chaos had added the blue accents in the um, actual icons at the top. When your battery is full, it's blue, which is pretty dope. And everything else, Bluetooth, GPS is white, I believe. Uh, let me see. That's a lot of that. I'm running a swipe pad already, too. I can't get it to stick coming from this angle, but it's cool. Yeah, a lot of y'all probably already know what Swipe Pad does. But Clocker is a nice clock application, you know. And it doesn't have a clock in the taskbar. I noticed that. And it doesn't show the, well, it shows the date. But it, the clock is not visible. So, I mean, me, sometimes I don't well watch. Because I look at my phone so often, I have it so readily available. But, uh, I mean, yeah, Clock would be nice in the taskbar but uh I'm not I'm not complaining this is a nice run and uh a lot of people ask me what's the difference between the HTC Evo 3D and the 4G minus the uh 3D capability in my opinion if you just want to upgrade your device you need to get the 3D because you're running a 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon which is cool a lot of people dual core a lot of people don't know what it is but I mean it's it's dual core it's running pretty swiftly uh, you also uh, got more onboard storage you got one gig of RAM four gigs of ROM you know so you have space on that device whereas on the 3D if you like me you got all these applications you run titanium backup it's going to die on you before you even finish you know it's going to stop because you can't and you have to see one of the first applications I load when I had my Evo 3G uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Evo 4G was uh, apps to SD. So I, I run that one out of the Titanium Backup. Then from Titanium Backup, I highlight everything else and just sit there. And when I get that notification, I go to it and send it to my SD so I can leave space, you know, for those bigger ones, Tangos, the Frings. I got all of them on here and I'm still begging for more. You know, and I, I got an 8 gig SD card I haven't upgraded. I need to. 32. Need to get my hands on the 32. Leave me a comment if you can get them 32s for the low. But uh, yeah, it's, it's an amazing run. I've been putting it to the test, you know, running it tough. I got the wireless tether on right now. You know, 4G running. Yeah, so go check that out, man. Oh, and uh, um, the wallpaper is faux tile. P H O T I L E, Fotile. You know, when you swipe, it changes animations. Man, this is a dope. Uh, this is a dope widget, man. This is a HTC widget. This is why I mess with HTC, man. They they make nice things. You know what I'm saying? Look at look at the animation on that, man. Nobody is catering to the consumer they give you fast but it's all about elegance really the the reason somebody buys a high-end phone like this is not really for business because you can do your business on, a, on another type phone blackberries are, are the most efficient phones known and the nine the uh, 930 or the blackberry bold that just came out got a pretty good camera on it man I was watching that on a on a video the other day but yeah um HTC is like the Android of <laughs> the Android of phones.